Good, you're here. We have much to discuss. After his visit to Dantooine, I know we're all uneasy about what Darth Malgus is planning. Darth Rivix assures me that the Hand of the Empire is hard at work searching for clues about Malgus' objectives. Unfortunately, nothing has yet turned up. The longer Malgus is out there, the worse it will be for all of us. We need to find something soon. We'll let you know as soon as that happens, of course. In the meantime, we have more to report. Okay, recording started. Date stamped. Encryption is working. There's a Shea Visla. I've got an update on my pursuit of Field Marshal Hedda Cole, responsible for attacking the Spirit of Vengeance too. I want to be clear. My only goal is finding this traitor. And I need the Alliance's help following up. I'm sure Hedda's group, the Hidden Chain, has established a permanent base. Location unknown. I need to know who is supplying her and how. I've included my findings in this transmission. Do this, and I owe you. At my end, I'm running down a slippery recruiter with links to Hedda. I have a local Dermanda and Meksha to thank for the lead. Tell the commander their old friend Indigo sends his best. All right, I'm landing in a few minutes and need to go dark. This recruiter has led me on a real chase, and I won't let him escape again. Shay out. We've done some preliminary work with Shay's intel, but we need an asset on the ground. The closed nature of the Mandalorians makes gathering information challenging. Have we got someone in mind? Torian Kadera is on a mission with Ras Ordo, but there is another option, a Carvi Spa. No affiliation with other clans, and no strong ties to any faction but our own, in fact. Mako gave her a strong recommendation. Thoughts? She can do it, no question. Glad to hear it. I'll make the arrangements. Keep me posted. What else have we got? That's all for now, Commander. I'll notify you if anything changes. Commander, I have an update on the weapon shipment out of Balmora. The turbo lasers headed for the Republic base on Corellia. That's right. Our objective was to stop the shipment by using the known terrorist Zenith. We leaked documents detailing how the weapons would be used against Republic targets on Corellia. With a history of leading the resistance against the Empire on Balmora, Zenith couldn't resist interfering. And what were the results? I've confirmed that the freighter carrying the weapons was destroyed as it entered hyperspace. An unfortunate engineering malfunction. Excellent. And Zenith? I'm sorry to report he escaped capture. We suffered a number of casualties. I am still investigating what happened. Zenith wasn't the target, but letting him live makes things more complicated. I will personally review the mission reports and correct any failings. See that you do. Dismissed. Now that all the important people are here, let's get down to business. Akavi, what have you got? Based on intelligence provided by Mandalore, I was able to narrow my search and scout potential suppliers to Hedda Cole and her group, the Hidden Chain. Hedda's targets, outer rim colonies and transports on the Rim of Trade route, point to powerful trade houses shutting down their competition with her guns. Those will likely be our suppliers. I have advised Jakaya Ordo, and he is marshalling Mandalore's fleet as a precaution. You'll find everything I uncovered in my report. Okay, we'll get our analysts on that. Good work. What else have we got? We have a message from the Imperial Reclamation Service. An associate of Darth Rivix may have found a lead on the relic Malgus stole on Dantooine. Colonel Bardengola, at your service. I've been asked to relay a high-priority message concerning records my team discovered during a recent assignment, which I'm also forwarding to you. These files are old. Very old. They almost went straight to central processing, but Darth Rivix has insisted that I personally comb through any new finds. 
I uncovered a cargo manifest that mentions a containment apparatus exactly like the one you described in your Dantooine Enclave report. Regrettably, many of the manifest details are illegible. We couldn't identify the relic Malga stole, but we did learn that it belonged to a Sith named Darth Null. It isn't much, but I do hope this information can be of use. If the files from Colonel Gola are any indication, our allies in the Empire believe this lead could be the key to locating Darth Malgus. Darth Rivix reports that he's identified one of Null's holdings. Darth Krovos has deployed her own forces to investigate it. There sure are a lot of important things being decided behind our backs. I will relay your concerns to Darth Rivix. I'm sure he will do whatever he can to remedy them. In the meantime, there is something we can investigate ourselves. What am I looking at? This is where Darth Null's relic was first discovered. There are not many who know this planet. It is in a dark region of wild space. A dangerous, untamed world. If your intention is to investigate the source of this relic, you must send someone strong to this place. Someone who knows this region of the galaxy. I suggest Arkin. I won't speak for my colleagues in the Empire, but I can't imagine they will be thrilled at the idea of the former Eternal Emperor handling this. A valid concern, but ultimately the decision is yours, Commander. Sana Ray is right. Arkin is the best choice for this mission. We'll deal with any consequences later. Arkin should be adequately prepared. I will speak with him and share everything I know about his destination. I appreciate it. Then it sounds like we all have our marching orders. Until next time. You must be a Kavi Spar. That's correct. I understand you recommended me for this mission. I appreciate the chance to help with Mandalore's hunt. We needed someone on the ground familiar with Mandalorian ways. You were right to send me. Those who supply Hedda Cole are paranoid and prone to disappear. It is only because I am Mandalorian that I got as close as I did. The suppliers are very much afraid of Hedda's wrath should they disappoint her, or worse, reveal any of her secrets. She's being very careful. Her ruthless reputation and a seemingly endless supply of credits from her raids means she can keep her secrets. Her suspected suppliers in my report are scattered across the galaxy. We find them. We hurt her. Understood. That's some good field work. Praise isn't necessary. It was my duty. Until Mandalore herself calls on me to strike her enemies down, I will continue this work. But I should get back to helping your analysts go through my report. I'm sure they're anxious to go through the details with you. Keep me informed. Raven to nest! Raven to nest! 
I've got two Republic fighters on my tail. I can't shake them. Requesting backup. This is Major Anri of Raven Squad, still under fire. Come on, I need help down here. Really appreciate your sense of timing, Commander. Wasn't too sure I'd get out of that one. What's the situation? Why were those spiders after you? See that dreadnought? Meet me there. We'll get you all caught up. Get these weapons secure, now! Everyone's trapped down there. Cord had better have a hell of a plan to get out of this one. I served with Cord on Corellia. There's one thing... We need everyone ready to move. Darth Norok's no down there. He'll handle the room. We've got three squads cleared and ready. Just need the go-ahead from Major Anri. I need the rest of them ready to go in ten, Captain. Understood? Right away, Major. Welcome aboard the Executioner, Commander. Wish I could have organized a welcome party, but we need your help straight away. I thought I was helping the Empire with their Kalto problem. What's the Republic doing here? Being a pain in all our backsides? Colonel Cord was running a pretty tight ship with this Kalto operation. We dropped mining platforms right on the water. Real state-of-the-art stuff. Got everything up and running quick, harvesting, refining, shipping. We were up to our necks in Colto. The Sailcath didn't even know what hit him. Until the Republic got a whiff of what was going on. If things are going so well, what are you doing up here? Rounding up the cavalry. Once the Republic brought the big guns, the locals started to put up a fight. Some of the Sailcath even got organized enough to take over our Colto refining station. That station was our base of operations. And now our people are stuck inside, including Colonel Cord. All our platforms are cut off from each other. Whole thing's a mess. If we want this operation back on track, first thing to do is kick the Sailcath off our base, which I can't do alone. Could really use your help down there. It sounds like we don't have a second to waste. I'm ready when you are. Fantastic. Knew I could count on you. I've already given the order to ready as many troops on board as we can. Just need to get them down to the surface and... Major Henry, the first dropship we sent down, it was completely destroyed as soon as it entered Manan's airspace. Our scanners show it was Republic anti-aircraft weapons. Are the enormous guns mounted on this ISIL just for show? If you've got their weapons in your sights, take them out. We can't. Once we started the targeting sequence, their weapons disappeared from our instruments altogether. Wonder how they pulled that off. Damn it! Don't know what the Republic's playing at, but I'm not sending any more soldiers down until we find out. As long as those Republic dogs are helping the Selkath, our efforts on Manan are dead in the water, so to speak. Not happening. We'll just have to get creative. All right. What are you thinking? We'll sneak down to Manan, just you and me, and retake your base. The Republic's guns won't be looking for a small shuttle. They didn't shoot you down on your way off world. Solid point. And once we take the Republic's fancy weapons out of the equation, we'll clear the way for reinforcements. You heard the plan, Vondrel? Hold down the fort up here. We'll signal when it's safe to deploy everyone else. It's great to have your help again. Now, let's show these kelp lovers what we're made of, yeah?
happened here? How did the Empire lose control? Like I said, everything was going to plan. Better than that, really. We were unstoppable. We had an iron cannon that could stop entire fleets in their tracks. Anyone who thought they could take a run at us got a personal demonstration. But the Republic had to go and stick their noses where they don't belong. Things took a turn when they helped the Selkath blow up our cannon. She's alive. Let's go, soldier. I'll be fine. Just need a second to catch my breath. But you two don't have time to stop. The Selkath are planting explosives all around the base. I'll take care of them. And there are more wounded troops. Please help them. This all happened because you lost one gun? Hey, it was a really powerful gun. When it blew up, the iron explosion knocked out everything. Comms, weapons, vehicles, you name it, it went off. These bottom feeders took advantage of the chaos and went on the offensive. Since we couldn't call for backup, Colonel Cord sent me back to the executioner for reinforcements. Then you showed up, just in the nick of time. I will never give up our position on Manan, no matter how many chances you give us. The Empire needs more Koto than your tight-fisted government is willing to sell. Vasoni Lessinen, Teto Zota, Apaza Lako Zotrit, Omalios. Hey, Sharkbait! Over here! You know, the Empire pays well for what it wants. Help us out, and you could be swimming in credits. your feet. I want this place back in working order immediately. Taurus, get this display back online. Dar, 
Re-establish long-range communications now! We've been cut off from the other platforms for too long! Colonel Cord, sir. This is... I know who this is, Major. Where are the reinforcements I asked for? You'd be dead if it wasn't for me. You could show some appreciation. Indeed. Thank you, then, for not standing idle and watching my soldiers die. Now, about my reinforcements... I know you're expecting a few more people, but that plan hit a bit of a snag. A few more people? I asked you for an army, Major. And if I bring you that army now, they're as good as dead. The Republic shot down our first transport. They've got some kind of stealth weapon system. It went dark on the Executioner scanners almost as soon as it showed up. Then we need to eliminate those guns. I want my soldiers down on the surface in one piece. The second our scanning instruments are functional again, we shall locate the Republic's weapons. Readings down here will be more accurate than on the Executioner. The Selkath did a real number on this place. With their home advantage and the Republic backing them up, they'll retake this position in no time. You're spot on. Cord finds the Republic's guns, we shore up this platform. What kind of defenses are we working with? There are plenty around this platform, but they were destroyed or disabled by the ion blast the Selkath triggered. You'll have to repair all the defenses manually. Sounds easy enough, especially for the two of us. I'm sure Darth Norok will be pleased at how well we're handling this, sir. Who is Darth Norok? Lord Valron's new right hand in logistics. Very important. Colonel Cord manages the Colto operation, but this whole thing is under Darth Norok's jurisdiction. He gets final say on everything. Be nice if we could update him before we set off, sir. I tried to contact him, but with everything that's happened, I'm sure he's on the move. Don't get your hopes up. Good. Your endless missteps are becoming a considerable source of irritation. I know things are grim, my lord. You have my apologies, but I, and my associates, are prepared to make things right. See that you do. Darth Norok has been briefed, and we all have our assignments. I want this entire operation back in working order. People will die without this Kolto. I know things are serious, but you didn't have to cut me off before I had the chance to talk. Sir, the Selkath are launching another attack. They've breached the lower levels. If those Selkath take this platform again, I'm afraid no one will be speaking to Darth Norok. We'll take care of the Selkath and head back when the defenses are online. Very well. Good luck to you both. Hopefully you won't need it. dug in deep. Let's remind them who they're dealing with. Everywhere. It's like a bad crack beetle infestation.
Give these anchovies one for me, would ya? to the surface level defenses recharged, rebooted, and reinforced. Let's see the Cellcath try and break these again. <laughs> 